guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a long time since I've been able to sit down and film for you guys. I think it's been like a couple months. But I am back and I'm ready to grind this summer for you. So I don't want to drag this intro out about how I've been going for forever. Even though at this point I kind of have. Let's get right into the makeup look. I kinda, for my eyebrows, I just filled them in a little bit, but I did make um, them very like clean, so I went over them with concealer. To fill in my brows, I'm just gonna use the Pretty Vulgar, this is their like brow balming, fill in any imperfections in my eyebrows. brows first but I'm going to be doing my eyeshadow today before I do my face makeup because I don't want the eyeshadow to tarnish anything on my face. And as I said I'm just going to be taking you can take your foundation too if you'd like, but I'm just going to clean up around my brows. Okay, so now that my brows are done, I'm going to start on my eyes, and I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can kind of see what we're working with. Come, come. So to prime my eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of concealer and like my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion stuff. To set my eye with a translucent powder, I'm going to kind of keep the translucent powder right near my brow bone and not so much on my eyelid. So for this eye look, I used the ColourPop Cute AF palette, but I'm going to take this yellow shadow right here and just kind of pack that in my crease. Take a more dense brush and I'm going to add I'm going to mix these three shades right here to pop those kind of on either side of my eye so the inner corner and the outer V of my eye and also take that into that yellow course you can kind of make that to the intensity of your liking so if you want it real intense you can just keep packing in one. Lastly I'm going to take a flat brush like this and I'm going to go back into this palette and mix the gold and orange shimmer shades and pop that in the center here where we don't have any shadow. Now that I have the eyeshadow on, I'm going to be taking, these are the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Blue Eyeliners. I have all three of the blue ones. paper with some makeup remover and I'm just going to wipe away the shadow under the wing to highlight my brow bone using this is the Nikki Tutorials um, Ofra Cosmetics highlighter, their trio here and I'm just going to highlight 
highlight my brow bone. For lashes, you can either choose to do something more light so you can kind of see the shadow or you can do something more dramatic which is kind of the direction I went and I'm going to be using the House of Lashes Allura lashes and I will see you guys after I put them on. Sorry if there was like a lighting switch up. I did however finish my other eyelid. To prime, I'm going to be taking my Pixie Rose Face Balm. I have been mixing the CoverGirl T50. This is their True Blend Matte Made Foundation, and I have been mixing T50 with L10. They have like 40 shades. I just For concealer, I'm going to color correct first with my Naked Skin Peach Concealer just to cancel out any darkness because I'm going to sleep. I am then going to be taking my Naked Skin Concealer in Lavender and my Estee Lauder Double Wear Concealer in Extra Light. Set the majority of my face, I'm going to be using the Rimmel Instant Fix and Matte Translucent Powder. It makes my skin look so soft and like almost like it's like an airbrush. I'm going to bake under my eyes and on my nose with the Derma Blend Loose Setting Powder. While that's baking, I'm going to bronze my face up a little bit, and I'm actually going to be mixing two of the Urban Decay. This is the Beached Bronzers, and I have both of them in bronze and the Sunkiss. I'm going to mix these together to kind of warm up my face. I'm going to contour using my Tarte Clay Play palette as always, and I'm kind of going to mix all three of these shades down here because I do want a more intense contour. To contour, this is a Luxie 660 brush. I'm going to use the same colors and just contour my nose a little bit. I'm going to use my go-to. This is my Laura Geller blush in Apricot Berry. And I kind of use a heavy hand with the blush. And to stop my contour from looking muddy, I'm going to be taking the same Derma Blend powder and just sharpening up my contour. While I let that bake, I'm going to go in under my eyes, finally. Um, in the picture, I have like a blue eyeshadow under my eyes, and for that, I used the Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette, and I used a mixture of these two colors down here. And I'm kind of taking an angled brush, it's kind of a flat brush, and 
I'm going to be taking the darkest blue and applying that almost directly to my lash line. If you feel like it's a little too much, you can always take some translucent powder and kind of blend it away. I'm going to take some white eyeliner. This is the Pretty Vulgar Eyeliner in Blank Page. I'm going to set my face real quick with the Pixi Glow Mist and kind of fan it dry. While that dries, I'm going to go in with my Ofra highlighter again and I'm going to take the lightest shade and this is going to go in my inner corner. And I'm also going to highlight using this. This is a BH Cosmetics 140 brush my go-to highlighter brush. For lips, you guys know I like to kind of cover up my lips with foundation before applying lipstick. If you have more pigmented lips, I would recommend doing this just because I'm going to use a lighter lipstick because I have bold eyeshadow, so I don't want the redness in my lips to show through the light lipstick. Liner, I'm going to be using the MAC liner in a sore. This is the Bare Minerals lipstick in Cult. And I'm going to apply a light layer of that to my lips. It's like literally the color of my skin. the Koki Cosmetics liquid lipstick in Champagne Problems and applying a light layer of it over the Bare Minerals lipstick and mixing the two. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked me. Please subscribe somewhere down there. I also have my Instagram link down below if you want to keep up with me in between videos because I will be posting a lot more often being that it is summer and my life is kind of de-stressed. So if you're into that or into more colorful makeup looks, let me know and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.